Good morning. Welcome to Beaufort. This place is so cute. Since we're going to be here for a couple of days, we figured we'd get out and explore. Oh my gosh. We have been driving for the last four days in the ICW and have gone for 12 hour days sometimes, 230 miles over the last four days. And all of this to get to a birthday party in Annapolis. And I just got a text that it's been canceled. Family emergency, I totally get it. But I don't wanna tell Charles. <laughs> He, um, he thinks we're gonna get going, so I guess I'm gonna go wake him up and tell him he can sleep in a little bit. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Okay. Charles. Yeah? They had to cancel. We don't need to go to Annapolis anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna go make some coffee. Since we're gonna be here for a couple of days, we figured we'd get out and explore. And I even saw a double-decker bus tour that I feel like we're destined to get on. Unfortunately, there is an airport right, right over there. So the whole little downtown area is a no drone zone, which is a bummer because it's so cute, but we'll do our best to show you around. Pulling into a port that I've never considered or even heard of has to be my new favorite reason to own a boat. I have been charmed and educated by so much and our journey has just begun. Beaufort has the curiosity in me craving to learn more about her past. The town boasts of its status as being the third oldest in North Carolina, founded in 1709. Plaque lined streets help tell the story of when homes were built and the families that inhabited them. And sure, they had their sensational stories, most notably of a local girl whose mother was from England. She wanted to visit so badly, she finally convinced her sea captain father to take her. As the story goes, she fell ill and died at sea. A sea burial was custom at the time, but her father couldn't tolerate the thought of not bringing her home. As legend has it, he preserved her body in a barrel of rum and laid her to rest in the old burial grounds when he returned home. To this day, people still leave trinkets at her grave. But my favorite stories aren't the sensational ones. I'm drawn in by the ingenuity you find in a historic town, like the row of houses, all made by shipbuilders in the 1700s without a single nail. For construction, they used wooden pegs, as the trade taught them. Each of these beautiful homes lines Front Street and are still standing to this day. And the way the creek that we're staying on was dredged to make way for large ships to enter the port. Dredging resulted in two major changes for the town. One, the island on the other side of the creek. And two, the shoreline on the land receded. All of the waterfront homes were now hundreds of feet off the shore. And the owners slowly began to rotate their houses away from their original bayfront to facing the street.
just finished our double decker bus tour. Really cool double decker bus from like, uh, what, the 1960s, London? Yeah. They brought it over here in like the 1990s and have been using it for little tours around town ever since. It was really neat. Like, there's just a lot of history in a place like this. So when we bought the boat, we never wanted to live in the marina. And while it's been better than I expected, it's time to rip the band-aid. So we're gonna go from right here in the marina to literally right there on anchor. Here's a better view of just how far we're going. Holy moly. That was so close. We, good work, Charles. Probably should have had me on the roaming fender right there. Sorry about that. Right. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we almost hit that dock. Ah. <laughs> well, we didn't and, oh, wow. Phoenix just got loose. Hi, little girl. Come here. You're not supposed to be running around when we're sailing. How'd you get out? Okay, let's go put this little nugget back in her pin. We are getting better at that. Two minutes to spare before my meeting. Time to go back to the computer. Some of you have been asking what I do for a living and uh, I am the director of customer success for a startup company that has been 100% remote from day one. So they never had an issue with us moving onto the boat which has been great, um, but they, what they will have an issue with is if I miss this meeting, so I gotta go. So, we've been on the boat for about two months now and everything we've bought has been delivered to us, which means there's a few things we need that we can't do. We get to refill the propane tank and there's some household items that we need. So it's time to run some errands. This car smells like every car my grandparents ever had. This is the best memory that <laughs> was lost in the recesses of my brain. I love it. Power windows. What? We were watching, watching cruise ships during the past by. Oh, and I remember gazing at your face in the starlight. 
so grateful that the docs lent us this car, even though we weren't we aren't staying there as of today, yesterday. are done. Police is here. Time to go play. Why is it It's a little nerve-wracking to have the police approach the boat as soon as you get home. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit, but there's a 10-day limit in this creek, which we will not exceed, so no. we're good to go. But we'll get close. Yeah, we'll get close, but we won't, we won't exceed it, and uh, they're super nice. They were. Gave us some restaurant recommendations, and wonderful. Six hours later, and we're once again reminded that everything on a boat takes way longer than you think it's going to. We got most of what we wanted to get accomplished accomplished. Uh, we may have to do one or two more things tomorrow, but all in all, it was a good day. And that's pretty much all we did today. So, cheers. By the way, go ahead and subscribe if you're new here. Drop us a comment or a like down below. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.